Because this whole thing about TV ratings, <laughs> did you guys see this graphic? These are the TV ratings from the championship game of each conference. Right. Total viewership. Right. Conference championships per snow buzz daily. And pull up that, that Harlan tweet. Yeah. The SEC championship game with LSU versus Georgia. 10 point, let's call it 10.9 million. The Big Ten with flipping Purdue versus Michigan, 10.7 million. The Big 12 with Manhattan, Kansas and a small following of TCU, who, as it was pointed out earlier in the show, doesn't sell out their 40,000 seat stadium. Uh-huh. 9.4 million viewers. And then the Pac-12, who broke viewership records for the Pac-12 championship game, Utah-USC. Right. (coughs) 5.9 million viewers. (coughs) So you broke all-time records. And it's only 5.9 million? Yeah, and that's what I don't understand. That's, that's That's what I really struggle with. You look at these numbers... And and you and you start to see the comparison, like you know, again, as we were talking about earlier in the week, like we did a we did a, a question earlier this week, like who's better, the Big Twelve or the Pac twelve? On the football field, I think the Pac twelve right now is better. But I look at business and I say, uh, dude, like, w- like how are you ignoring the fact that twice as many people watch the SEC as as do watch the Pac twelve? And and to me. I just don't understand why, like, why this is rocket science for, like, Mark Harlan or or George know. Klyavkov or George Klyavkov. Any of these please. dudes, like, it's Klyavkov, please. Yeah, George Klyavkov. Like, how is it this difficult to understand that you're not doing good enough? And and I don't mean to be ultra negative on this, but damn, dude, like, like at some point you got to figure out how to get this viewership up, you know, like at some point you have to say, Hey, yes, our TV deal is going to get better. Yes. We are going to get seen by more people looking at this graphic on the screen. The sec is running circles around you, man. And the real shame in it is, is you have power brands in the pac 12. Like that's the shame. Like, like you look at Oregon, I understand Oregon did a lot of losing this year, and Oregon you know, didn't live up to it this year, totally with that. But the fact is, is they routinely lead the Pac-12 in viewership. But wait, but then there's Mark Harlan's tweet. The athletic director at Utah, John Kurtz, says the Pac-12 had a standalone game on a Friday night with huge playoff implications. Is USC in the playoff or out? with huge playoff implications and their biggest brand playing and was almost three and a half million viewers behind two non-Oklahoma, Texas Big 12 teams. To which Mark Harlan says, we're not leaving. Right, you're not leaving, sure. You're not leaving when you're like... Are you serious? You're almost my fucking ass. You're almost fifty percent behind at the SEC in the Big Ten. Come on. If you ain't first, you're last. Like, are you serious? And you're almost four million viewers behind the freaking Big and Twelve. And then pull up the other one right above that. TV views for 2022. This is what I think is hilarious. Look at that. TV views. These are the the. And if you look at the the swath. Right? These are um, a look at the top 10 college football programs Programs. with the most TV views in 2022. Ohio State, 70 million. Why do you think they're in the college football playoff? Uh, Michigan, 70 million. Alabama, 62 million. Georgia, 53 million. Tennessee, 50. LSU, 49. Notre Dame, 39. Penn State, TCU. TCU had 36.3 million. By the way, stop me when I get to the uh, Pac-12 team. Texas, 35 million. Clemson, 35 million. But you go down here and look at the ACC championship game. 3.4 million viewers. Those, what were those all Clemson grads? 
And then I, you want to tell me that that we're not leaving the Pac-12. My ass, you're not leaving the Pac-12. The the football landscape is going to leave Utah behind if that's the case. And this is the problem with George Klyovkov. You're casual. You're just not good at your job. You're just not good at your job. It's embarrassing, dude. And it, it, it's crazy. CKS says Harlan said that. No, he didn't say that. He tweeted it. He tweeted it. Like it's, I, I, I don't understand. And, and come on again, I am all for stability. I am all for growth mindset. If you're a member of the PAC 12, are you not wholly hanging on to you? Every last pube that UCLA stays in the conference. Donnie, you're like, you're your just element. like grasping at their short and curlies. Like, please stay. God, let this follicle hang on. Yeah. What if UCLA, what if the Board of Regents next week on the, what is that, Wednesday the 14th? You're desperate for them to make some Hail Mary that they're not going to make, I don't think, to get UCLA to stay in the Pac-12. Yeah. You kidding me? Oh. The code 10 aboard. But according to Klyovkov, nobody he's talked to. Well, I don't want anybody. I'm talking to God. I haven't told talked to me. a single athlete. Nobody told me that they were in favor of the move. I doubt that. 93% of UCLA student athletes think it's important to be in the same conference as USC. That would be the Big Ten. And then remember, Cleave Cox argument is, well, well, you know, Cal and UCLA have a long history and tradition of knob All right, we're going to move on here. Uh, Come 24% on. of them believe it's important to be in the same conference as UC Berkeley. Fuck out of me. UC <laughs> Berkeley. Please. Get out of here. Well, nobody I've talked to. Nobody I've talked to. Well, nobody I've talked to. How many UCLA coaches and athletes have you spoken with to assess their thoughts on the move to the Big Ten? Uh, I think saying hundreds would be an exaggeration. Dozens, more than 100. Um, and I have yet to talk to anyone at, in the UCLA and USC community who's in favor of the move. I will say that I probably hear from folks who are not in favor, right? Not surprisingly. <laughs> Get the hell out Hello? of here with that, dude. I'm nobody I've talked to, and I've talked to millions. Get the hell out of here. You know, I was... Schemers trying to control their little world. I was walking around Westwood, and they were telling me John Wooden's the best as a conference of champions. We don't want UCLA to leave, please. Keep lying about right now the back envelopes, cockface. I don't know what you're talking about, I. Like, are you serious Come with this, dude? Come on, dude. Are you serious? Are you, are you serious really with this, despicable. dude? Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, George Klyovkov and the Pac-12 are a joke. Yeah. It's, it's embarrassing at this point. It's ridiculous. Absolutely embarrassing. You know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Ruff's official says the other games were on Saturday afternoon and the Pac-12 game was on Friday night. More, no, stop. It was the only game on Friday night, the primetime game. Oh, but it's USC. We'll have a huge audience. Fight off. Like you had USC, your <coughs> biggest program. Excuse me. Program. <coughs> you uh, Against Utah. And uh, and don't forget, you know, Dr. Chris Hill. Well, all of our alumni are in the Bay Area. Uh, and don't forget F Utah, right? Right? Don't forget. So will we have said the same thing if Oregon was in? Dude, it was Friday night, exclusive window, national TV. They should have done a much larger number, but you're a small conference that doesn't have a lot of pull. That's who you are. That's who you are, right? I, I, look, if you, that, that, no. The joke. Dude, it has nothing to do with Saturday afternoon. How many parents are at their soccer games on Saturday afternoon? That's an issue. Come on now. That they, they, okay. Uh, Salty Drunk says, okay, you have my attention now with well, TV ratings. Man, thank you. UC Regent Gumby says, my appetite is ruined. And mine's not. Um, Kendall, uh, Kendall Dean says, Harlan is a joke or, a t or totally clueless. Probably totally Agreed. clueless. Agreed. You know. Uh, Bo Body says, BYU is a complete joke. Okay. They have much higher TV numbers than, than you do. But they're a joke. I know nobody watches. Nobody watches. Nobody. Uh, Ron Nolan says, can't wait to see Prime rolling out of the Rocky uh, Mountain foothills in his snow-covered Hummer. He looks so sporting in those furry earmuffs and mittens. Sporting. 
sporting. Okay. I, like how many wins for Colorado next year? Seven. I think they go twelve and zero. Oh. 